I'd like to show you the process on how to replace the glass and digitizer on an Apple Watch. The majority of repair shops don't have laminators and autoclaves that are typically required to replace the glass and digitizer on a display. I hope you enjoy the video. I've got another broken Apple Watch. This one though, you can tell, you hit the light just right. See that light spot there? That is delamination of the digitizer layer. And although the touch and everything is working, once we get the glass off, you'll still see a mark here. And so we'll need to replace the digitizer. Let me show you how we do that. All right, I've got the screen detached. Now I just need to remove it from the flex cables. Add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and we'll carefully separate the flex cables from the display. The alcohol helps break up the bond between the black adhesive and the display. All right, go ahead and make sure the watch is off and now we'll disconnect the display. We'll disconnect the three flaps there. There's a sticker that goes out on top of the connectors. We'll just gently pull and it'll tear just like that and leave us with a nice clean connectors to put back in. Now I just need to clean up all of the remaining shards of glass and adhesive around the border. Now I just need to separate the glass from the display using a thin wire. There you go. You can see uh, the digitizer is definitely delaminated a little bit more, but we can uh, can remove the digitizer now from the display and uh, clean it up and get it refurbished and looking new again. We can see the delamination just you know, starts out there and then spreads. Let's just test it, make sure everything's still working. And there is the broken glass. The display still looks good. Touch is obviously gonna have more issues now that there's more delamination. Come on. Now I just need to polish it up, get rid of any trace of adhesive, streaks, dust. Got our new digitizer. Now we'll add a few drops of loca. That's liquid, optical, clear, adhesive. We'll install a new glass and digitizer. And we'll let that loca spread to all edges. You can see it's making its way to each corner. No need to rush this. Let surface tension do the work for you. This will get a nice flat and even distribution of the loca. And the reason I'm doing it this way versus using the OCA, the optical clear adhesive, is because the majority of you watching this video probably do not have a laminator and autoclave to laminate and remove all of the bubbles from under the glass because that's quite the investment versus the UV light and the loca. And also it gives you the benefit of being able to align the display perfectly before the loca is cured. With OCA, you basically have one shot to get it lined up perfectly. And although it can present itself in a cleaner fashion due to the fact that it's not liquid, you only get one shot at it where the loca, you have plenty of time to align the display and get the results you're looking for. And we're almost there to the corners. That one's just disappearing and that one's about to disappear. The other corners are good. And that one's uh, gone and that one will be there in a few seconds. All right, and we'll leave this to cure for a few minutes under UV light. Now I'll flip it over 
and cure the backside just in case we had any loca come around the edge of the display. Go ahead and reconnect to the display by gently pushing in each of the three flex cables into their connectors and then we'll close down each one of the flaps. I'll turn it on to test it. This watch is going to look so good when it's done. It'll look brand new. The frame was well taken care of. It just had It just shattered quite a bit. Alright, let's make sure touch still works. It looks good. It's not true. I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood. But then I cut myself off from the rest of the world. Perfect. No jumping, no glitching. Go ahead and turn it off. It can all be worth it. All the searching. Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts. Touch looks perfect. Now I just need to go around the border with some adhesive. For purpose, I hope it's worth it. This society is really trying me. Ain't no white and seek a hide to be far from anxiety. I need and we'll close it up and before the adhesive cures all the way I'm gonna go around and give a really good clean up to the edge or some of that adhesive might have squeezed out just a little bit it's easier to clean it up now than it is to clean it up later does that look nice There we go, all fixed and looking good again. I'll have links in the description where you can find the products that I used in this video. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution. A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this.